There is an ancient rhyme that says, Red sky at morning, sailor's warning. It's often a telltale sign that there is a storm on the horizon. Should you find yourself at sea, best to batten down the hatches. Here on land, however, I do not fret, for where there is rain, there exists the potential to witness one of nature's most celebrated and loved spectacles of all. I invite you to spend some time with your friend Brett, adventurous gardener, and discover how I derive inspiration from and make the best of any rainy day. I discovered some time ago that one could employ their mind to work for them even in their sleep. Many of my design ideas are straight from the inner workings of my unconscious mind. I put it to task each night as I close my eyes, asking it to show me what I am to create the following day. You may be surprised at how incredibly powerful this practice is. It's basically problem solving, even as you dream. If you are new to the channel, welcome and thank you. Returning subscribers, you may recognize this garden project. The obelisk fountain in the background is a tribute to the sun. The crescent shape of this new garden bed pays homage to the moon. Flowers are nice, but I'm known for celebrating life in all forms. The felling of this centurion oak tree has weighed heavy on my mind. I wanted to memorialize it in a beautiful way, allowing observers to experience the awe of its majesty for as long as its remnants might endure the changing of the seasons. As I paced about the larger-than-life pile of soon-to-be firewood, an idea rolled into my thoughts just as brilliant as the cut-up tree rounds themselves. A spring rain was on the horizon. What perfect timing, as conserving water is much easier when the sky falls and provides the sustenance needed to quench some freshly planted flowers. As I got to work settling in the foxglove and the marigolds, I distinctly recall thinking, eight years the deer have completely ignored the marigolds. This is a winning combination. As with many of my premonitions, they are often the anticipated result of a sarcastic victory over the reality of nature and hungry wildlife. I had a feeling there were curious eyes watching me from the forest. One can't help but laugh as the realization sets in that as a gardener, you are merely setting up a salad bar for the fauna which reside in your area. Mindful of the clouds above, I begin the structure of the art installation. The deer may have consumed half the marigolds, though I suspect this decaying limb from an old oak tree will certainly be much less appetizing. The idea to utilize a large limb was inspired in part by a local standing dead tree, which captivates me all the same as any of its living counterparts. Thankfully, this piece of wood is so round, it made 300 pounds feel like 30. If you look carefully, everything just seems to tell you where it belongs. The curvature of this limb happened to be quite satisfying, as it nestled atop the log like a matching puzzle piece. I could feel tiny water droplets falling upon my neck and a cool breeze as the looming shower crept ever closer to the garden. A bird's eye view of the imminent storm was frighteningly beautiful. The fact that you'll never see the same cloud twice never ceases to amaze me. It's a reminder of how everything is but a fleeting moment, which is always cause for a state of gratitude. As the sun chased the wall of water off to the north, I paused to stare in sheer admiration. A visual statement, too incredible for words especially given the fact that I'm building a garden to commemorate life. I added some stones to provide a bit of natural color, some eye-catching shapes and texture. It's fun to try and strike a balance between design elements without overcrowding the space. Stones serve a dual purpose as they help elevate the ends of the limb to keep it in a state of arrested decomposition. I could almost feel the moon gazing upon me as I finished spreading the chips. The dark mulch helps to provide maximum contrast for that wow factor when the flowers are all in bloom this summer.
free as a bird is the spirit of the old oak tree, no longer bound by roots or standing through harsh winters. While the memory remains, like those fleeting clouds I mentioned earlier, 115 years is but a blip in time in the grand scheme of things. The cycle of endless beginnings fulfills a never ceasing obligation. As is evident in other parts of the garden, the beautiful dance goes on as a newly hatched bluebird opens its beak, eager to partake in the symphony of life. They say wisdom comes with age just as complacency, lest we forget the director of the show, that which is always hiding in plain sight, easily dismissed until the sun sets and you long for the warmth to return in the form of the light of the world. I don't mind the rain as it nourishes all that we love. Dark days only seem to last so long when we lose sight of the bigger picture. For as long as the earth continues its whirling procession around the sun, there's always a brighter day to look forward to. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please hit like and leave a comment to share your thoughts with me. This is Adventurous Gardener saying, rainbows only happen when it's raining.